Hey guys, my name is Mohit Mandal and I bring to you the latest developments in the field of AI. So let's begin. Watch this video at 1.5x for better results. So the very first news for today, Microsoft committed to assume legal responsibility from the code generated by their GitHub Copilot. So if you don't know, GitHub Copilot is like an extension that we developers can install on our coding environment, for example, VS Code to get AI generated suggestions of what the next line of code should be or the entire function or separate however the thing is to be done. So Microsoft is saying that whatever suggestions they are copilot is suggesting, it's fine and they are ready to take legal responsibility as well. More companies commit to the White House AI safety accord. So earlier signed by Meta, Google and OpenAI, now joined by Adobe, Nvidia, IBM and five other AI companies that promise to develop responsible AI. So the agreement is actually voluntary. So there is no punishment if the companies fail to follow through. But yeah, they are committing to a responsible AI journey. Next news from Google. So as you know, elections are coming and a lot of ad campaigns run on Google and Meta. So Google is now coming up with a feature that you need to disclose that whatever content you are putting in the ad campaign is AI generated or not. So as a part of that agreement, the company said that they would develop technical mechanisms such as watermarks to ensure users know when content was generated by AI. But it's a thing of future. For now, there is no watermarks in AI generated content and it could be used for misleading. So there needs to be a disclosure that it is AI generated and it will be clearly visible to the audience as well, I guess. Another disclosure angle coming from Amazon. So, you know, like uh, with the help of ChatGPT and with Journey, creating ebooks is so easy that you can like ask it to come up with ideas, generate the context, write the whole chapters, generate images, compile up, create the PDF and just upload. So, self-publishers must declare if content is AI generated or not. New rule and guidance for Kindle books generated by artificial intelligence tool. Because a lot of people were in uploading at a very high speed. So Amazon come up with this. Moreover, Amazon restricts author from self-publishing more than three books a day after AI concerns. Like it's so easy to generate a complete book. People are generating more than three, maybe and uploading it on the Kindle per day. So, but they said that uh, very few publishers will be affected. Not a lot of people are doing this, but yeah, Amazon has come up with this restrictions now. This is another article from Android Police. All those AI chatbots need a lot of water to stay afloat. So yeah, we are just using AI tools or AI chatbots, but we don't know what is going behind those things. So water is used to cool down the enormous server farms, whatever AI processes we are running, it needs a lot of computing power and resources to run on, a lot of server space, those servers get heated up and a lot of water is required to cool that environment so that they don't like burn or silicon doesn't melt and it keeps on working. A University of California research researcher estimates that on a per use basis, OpenAI uses 16 ounces of water, which is like 500 ml, for every 5 to 50 queries user asks the AI. Next news, again from a environment perspective. So a MIT student named Jivet uses AI to design buildings with less concrete. So if you don't know, concrete is a material that is used in construction and it consists of 8% or like it contributes to the 8% of total greenhouse gas. So the guy is currently in the third year of his PhD program and he says that he uses topology optimization to make use of algorithms to create structures that meet a building's performance requirement while consuming a minimal amount of resources. So yeah, new construction buildings will require less concrete if this AI algorithm goes well. Another positive news from the medical industry. So. Optelum Virtual Nodule Clinic Software by Dr. Vaclav Potassil is providing you with a 
lung cancer prediction score from 1 to 10 based on a standard CT scan result where 10 indicates the highest risk of yeah lung cancer so lung cancer actually killed 1.8 million people around the world in 2020 so the key is to catch the disease early 8 out of 10 patients will survive more than 20 years if this works well so currently what the statistics is that generally 20% uh, there's only 20% chance that you will survive more than 5 years if you have lung cancer so yeah standard CT scan will be used to give a uh, lung cancer prediction score and then yeah based upon it treated early another very big news OpenAI gives ChatGPT access to the entire internet via Bing. It is still in its beta phase. So you need to go and turn it on from the beta features. And then using Bing, ChatGPT will be able to access the internet to like completely fulfill whatever your prompt or query at ChatGPT end is. So it's no longer limited to the data based on 2021 now. It has the latest updates as other conversational uh, AI models like BART and Bing have. The last uh, news come article, let's see it on our website. So if you don't know, we digest from also have news, guides and other articles on our website. So let's uh, read this news. How to use ChatGPT custom instructions to improve your experience. So it's uh, also a beta feature that you need to turn on from the settings. And then you can use these agents. And you can have like these commands. These are the rules. Do check out this article. And you'll be able to do a lot more on ChatGPT then. Thank you for completing this video. If you found this useful. Please like the video, comment below if you have any questions or you want me to make videos on a specific topic. Subscribe to the channel. I bring to you the latest developments in the field of AI, like two or three videos every week. You can check out our website. You can check out our Instagram page. We are at a lot of different places. All the links are below in the description.